Happy New Year. In this video, what we're going to do is take a look at using Chord Pulse and Mixcraft to create a new arrangement for my guitar basement theme tune. But first things first, I want to thank all of those subscribers who've been able to get my channel over 2,000. By YouTube standards, that's not very much, but if I think back a few years back, it seemed like it took forever just to get to 100. And if you didn't subscribe already, there's a little button down below that you could do that. Now, what I intend to do in this year of 2023 is, first of all, fulfill some of the promises that I didn't fulfill in 2022. One of those promises was to do a giveaway of Chord Pulse. Apparently, I have to do this legal stuff to say that YouTube is not sponsoring this, and also Chord Pulse is not sponsoring this. I am going to take my credit card and I'm going to purchase a copy of Chord Pulse for whoever the winner turns out to be. And the way you enter is to place a comment down below. So this competition will run from today, the day when I post this video, until a date that I'm going to select and I'll, put, I'll stick it down below in the comments. So I'm going to show you in this episode how I use Chord Pulse. And it's a really great tool for creating because you can sample the chords. So I'm going to show you that shortly. And I'm also going to show you how I took the, the output from that into Mixcraft. Then I use the MIDI instruments that come with Chord Pulse and make it sound more realistic. All right, so let me show you some of the very cool things in Chord Pulse. This is how it sounds. This is the really coolest thing, you know, about Chord Pulse, that it's just so easy to isolate a section of it and, and you can play around with the chords. I start off with this A7 chord, and then I'm, I'm play, actually playing a G13, and then going down another, another half step to a G flat 7 sharp 9. And the cool thing about this, let me just illustrate you know, I, I went through and, and I played with some different chords. I have my guitar in my hand, but I also used Chord Pulse to, you know, give me a, an, an earful of what it's sounding like. So uh, let's just take a look at this particular chord here. And I'm going to going to put a few different chords in it. So I went through each bar like that, and then I use another another feature of Chord Pulse, which is the ability to add uh, a different note in the bass, a slash, you know, create a slash chord. So if I if I play this next bar, I can click this, and I could, if I wanted to, instead of having the B there, So you see how it's allow, giving you the ability to, to change things like that. I just want to illustrate here that if you're, if you're looking for, for a particular groove, you know, what's good to do is to you click over here where it says lock to the tempo that you want to play at. You can just start trying different grooves. Some of these might be totally different from, from what you had in mind. It just kind of stimulates the, the uh, gives you some different ideas. So anyway, the one I chose, I kind of like that bass line. And um, let me just stop this for a minute. So that was the creative process to create this backing track. And of course, how you get this into Mixcraft is you go to File, Export to a MIDI file. And uh, there are some options here, which you know you might want to play around with. So, so then, uh, you know, I select it. So I went to export that and uh, select the file. And uh, I've already done this, so I'm not going to do this again. Uh, take a look now what, what I did with this inside of Mixcraft. So the first thing I'm doing is taking the MIDI file into Mixcraft. And I'm just going to drag and drop that at the beginning of the timeline in Mixcraft. If we play this, you find that That's the MIDI sounds that are set right now. First thing I'm we're going to take a look at is the drums. If I just solo 
the drums there. This is what we've got for the drums. Now that, that may be fine, but I'm going to go into Mixcraft and go down to Percussion Drum Kits. Now you have the option here of picking any of these kits. Now we have all these different kits that we could select. I picked eventually standard kit number two. Okay, so that was the drums, the bass. I went to bass over here and I, I selected a few different bass instruments. I don't want to go through all of the details because this was kind of a long process. So what I'll do here is I'm going to open this other previous project. Here's what we've got. What I did was using the bass I actually created several. We'll just play each one of these. So I, I use a slap bass. I also used an acoustic bass. So I took each one of these instruments individually and uh, I duplicated some of the parts. I selected a different piano for this one. I the one that I really like is the Pianissimo, which is part of the uh, Mixcraft Pro, I believe. So on the keyboards, you find that we got... I've actually got several. If we play this right now, it sounds like this. So if you're viewing this within the time frame of the giveaway, tell me what your favorite features about Chord Pulse are. This is not sponsored by Chord Pulse and, and I get nothing if you buy Chord Pulse. So that being said, stay tuned and look forward to seeing you soon.